All right, we're aboard the Jericho Cruise now. Talking with me, wrestler Mandy Leon, right? Mandy Leon. All right, school now girl Mandy Leon. Girl, school girl, school girl. I like that. Now <laughs> you've got. Uh, we were talking. You said you've got a couple of paranormal experiences you didn't share with me. Yeah. All right, so you're willing to open up about these now? Definitely. Let me take these. Let me talk to me. It's serious in here. Okay. Now, <laughs> so here's a funny one for you. A little bit of a twist. So my first ever championship that I've ever won was at a company that I'm not going to name because I don't want to put them on blast. Um, but it was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And they didn't have a women's changing area in the locker room, so I went to the bathroom to change and get myself together. And after I won the title, I went to the bathroom. And you know what girls do? You know, we check our stockings to see if they're ripped or anything. So I looked in the mirror, and the ceilings were kind of like the cardboard ceilings that you can like push up and down in there. And as I'm looking in the mirror to check my tights, something in the mirror, something like responds for me from above me and says, "Hey, like nice body," something like that. And I go, "Okay, I just heard a voice, but..." I'm not going to say anything because if there is a person in there, I'm alone in this bathroom and this can be <laughs> a scary situation. Um, so that, that's the first thing that went through my like crazy mind. This is, oh my God, someone's in the bathroom with me. So I ran back to the promoter and I said, hey, like I was just in the bathroom and someone's literally responding to things that I'm saying or things that I'm doing in the mirror. Like there, there has to be someone hiding in the ceiling. Like there's no other explanation for this. Someone must have followed me into the bathroom and like crawled up there or something. And he goes, no, I don't think anybody would do that. But the place is haunted, they say. And it's like this old skate rink in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So that was one story. And I kind of went crazy. And I made the girl uh, who was doing security let me see the footage to see if anybody followed me into the bathroom. Turns out that's illegal to do. She can't show me the footage. But I was so angry because the promoter and nobody was helping me figure out who was responding to me into this bathroom and saying all these things uh, that I convinced her to let me see the footage. And nobody followed me into the bathroom. And the men's bathroom doesn't connect to the women's bathroom. So unless someone's living in that ceiling, what could have been? But they do say that the place is haunted. And there's a lot of complaints towards women specifically. So that's something interesting. All right. Very cool. Now... <laughs> you've had a lot of paranormal experiences yes. throughout your life, yes. and you've got you've got one more to share with us today. I do. So uh, on your podcast, we were talking about 1626 Sunset Avenue in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Uh, that's the house I grew up in when I was little, and there's so many stories that come from that. I literally call it like Hell's Den because I swear there's just nothing but bad spirits there. It's not good spirits. It's all bad spirits. Um, when we moved in there, there was a bookshelf, and all the books that were left there. About 85% of them were all dark witchcraft books with just evil stories and demonic things inside of it. And I remember one day I took one of the books out. Uh, again, I was young, maybe 12, 12 years old, 13 years old. And I just didn't know what was going on. And my mom was like, where did you get that? Put that back. And I said, it was on the bookshelf right there. I don't know. <laughs> I was just curious to see what's going on. Um, long story short, there was always furniture moving upstairs in my, my bedroom when nobody was home. I would hear things. We had crawl spaces in the attic where I would always hear voices. I had three cats. And they say, you know, cats can sense bad spirits and evil. And we'd be sitting in rooms. And all of a sudden, they'd just be like, their people would get huge and just follow something around. And there was nothing there. Um, um, that, but um, one time my mom had surgery, and it was just me and her at home. I sit home from school to take care of her, and she's stuck in bed. She can't do anything. And the basement was just known to be haunted. Like, we had a pool table down there. We would always set up the, the balls in the triangle and stack up the sticks. Every morning, the pool table would just be everywhere, all messed up. And uh, I was cooking my mom breakfast one day after her surgery. Home alone, old house, and I burned myself with my pan that I was cooking in because I heard someone running up the basement steps and shaking on the doorknob. I got so scared that I literally went like this and burned myself through everything, ran up to my mom. She still thinks I'm crazy to this day, but there was a lot of spooky stuff that happened in that house. So uh, I always say a movie should be made at 1626 Sunset Avenue. Thank you very one much. Of many stories. Thank you, Mandy. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs>